I am Janeth, a developer advocate at Teradata, the trusted AI company. And today I am very excited to showcase AI Unlimited. AI Unlimited is an on-demand AI ML engine in the cloud available on Microsoft Azure and Microsoft Fabric. AI Unlimited is designed to give data engineers, data scientists, and developers the ability to experiment and explore their enterprise data at scale without fear of impacting production systems. AI Unlimited is a database engine that no longer requires persistency to manage the data. Our engineers have taken the best-in-class execution engine that runs database functions and analytics and are making it available without the need to manage or orchestrate the data. The engine operates on data that resides in object store. It runs within your own Azure cloud infrastructure, there, so there's no need to establish connectivity to external tools. It also gives you complete control over usage and allocation. It's a self-service experience that lets you discover and innovate use cases freely. And it scales down to zero. You only pay for what you use, giving you full control over spend. Now let's explore a fictional business scenario to demonstrate how you can use AI Unlimited for building K-means clusters for customer segmentation. Imagine you're a data scientist or data analyst at a large online retailer. The company lacks insights into its shopper demographics despite having large amounts of data stored in object storage. You're tasked with providing insights that will enable the marketing department to deploy personalized marketing strategies at scale. With AI Unlimited and data stored in Azure, you can apply K-means clustering to effectively group customers and identify different groups with similar consumption or spending patterns. Once the AI Unlimited has been provisioned with your own Azure cloud infrastructure, it's available within the familiar Jupyter Notebook environment, which has been enhanced with an extension that allows you to manage AI Unlimited resources. Before we dive into the step-by-step -step explanation of how to perform clusters using the K-means algorithm, let's quickly discuss what K-means clustering is. In simple terms, K-means clustering is a machine learning technique used to cluster data points together based on their similarity, specifically focusing around numerical features. For these features to be clustered properly, they must be on a similar scale. Teradata AI Unlimited makes the process of preparing the data, feature engineering, transforming, and scaling the data to build K-means clusters a breeze. Let's quickly go over the steps and proprietary functions you would employ. Let's begin by examining the structure of our data set. Here we see we have retail data, which includes fields for invoice number, stock code, description, invoice data, quantity of products purchased, unit price, and customer ID. Once we have performed this initial data exploration, we're able to select a subset of customer IDs to test the accuracy of our clustering attempts. Each clustering attempt will identify centroids, and by clustering the test data around these centroids and evaluating how well they fit, we can assess the accuracy of our clustering method. Next, we prepare our training data set. We group by customer ID and exclude our test set. The first step, as in any analysis task, is the cleansing of the data. Here, we're going to use Teradata's TD outlier fit function to handle outliers in total quantity and total price, normalizing these values. Now, let's address missing values. Using the TD simple impute function, we assign a default customer ID of 19,000 where wherever the value of the column is null. This ensures that every record can be included in our analysis. With our data prepared, we create a new feature leveraging the TD nonlinear combined fit function. Features are additional characteristics derived from existing data that are meaningful for identifying consumption and spending patterns. Specifically, the TD nonlinear combined fit function allows us to calculate the total sales by taking the total quantity and multiplying it by the total price. In a similar fashion, we also use the TD nonlinear combined fit function to generate another feature for average sales per item on a specific customer. 
Upon this point here, we have not yet performed any transformations on our data set. Instead, we have created fit tables that provide instructions for our transformation function. We now use these fit tables inside the TD column transformer function. This function transforms the entire data set in a single operation. We only need to provide the fit tables to the function and the function executes all transformations required at once. When we run all the fit table transformations together in one go, it gives approximately 30% better performance than running each transformation separately. At this point, we have a good set of features for clustering, but they are not scaled. Total quantity, total items are numerical aggregations, while the total price, total sales, and sales per item are representative of monetary values. To handle this, we employ TD scale fit and TD scale transform, which normalizes these features on a uniform scale of zero to one. And here we see that total quantity, total items, total price, total sales, and sales per item are scaled uniformly as required by our chosen clustered method. We are finally ready to perform our k-means clustering operation. We invoke the tdk-means function and pass in our input, input table with our transformed and scaled data. And we specify that our data be divided into five clusters as well as setting a maximum iteration of 500. And here we can see our five generated clusters with their respective centroid dimensions. We see that the data points in each cluster, and we can quickly observe that it is not evenly balanced, which can be meaningful upon further analysis. Now let's take our test data through the same process we put our training data through. We will prepare our data, feature engineer, in one operation using the TD column transformer. As you recall, we have already prepared our fit tables. So all we need to do is call our TD column transformer function to transform our data set, pass in our tables, and include the features we need. This approach is similar to, any, to an operational approach where incoming data is prepared and anim analyzed almost immediately. Finally, we run the model against new, in this case, our testing data using the TDK means predict function. We can also quickly analyze how well the clusters that we have found can be used to partition test data using the TD silhouette function. If we get a number close to one, that means that the unseen data points can be clustered successfully around the centroids, centroids we have detected. And a negative number of zero means that we need to attempt to cluster the data again with a different value for k or different parameters. As mentioned at the start of the presentation, AI Unlimited is available on Microsoft Azure. This integration means that you can start innovating faster and easier than ever. With AI Unlimited on Azure, deploying your AI solution takes just minutes, allowing you to focus more on creation and less on setup. Finally, transitioning your AI innovations to production is seamless with Teradata Vantage Cloud on Azure. This means less downtime and more productivity, enabling a smooth transition from testing to full-scale operations. AI Unlimited is also available as an experience on Microsoft Fabric interface. From here, developers will be able to explore, prepare, and transform data housed in one lake with their preferred tools. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to learn all about the exciting exploratory and innovative projects you will build.